guys, welcome um, back to our channel. channel. We have a guest. Hey, what's going on? Introduce yourself, guest. Retro, you know that's the name. We'll Let's get to the video. His, we'll put his Instagram um, link in the bio. Put it in the bio. And by the way, this is my brother. Yes, sir. So, today we're going to do the topic of does social media ruin relationships? And we're going to let him go first. The floor. Yes, the fuck you do. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Look, you know how many times you go through something with the person you dating or you talking to, and they go and post some bullshit, go act single on the internet. That pisses us off. Because then we do it, it's a whole different story. And the social media world gives people a platform to conceive people what they're really not. And then you have that entangling. <laughs> Not entangling. With the real life. <laughs> and it's certain stuff you don't do. And I think people get caught up real in the vibes. fantasy world. <laughs> they get caught up in the fantasy world. And they end up forgetting who they are. So I'm going to leave it on that note. And what about as far as like her posting certain type of pictures? Or like niggas in her DMs? And okay, that goes responding? In no, that goes into effect. I mean, when you date a girl, you know what she wearing. You know how she dress. You know what type of woman she is. So From the beginning, right? From the beginning. Like when you first yeah. meet her. So if you meet her, you know what I'm saying, and you acting thirsty and you got your tongue out trying to get her number <laughs> and you know what she wearing, that's not necessarily going to stop what she's wearing when she gets with you. So just keep that in mind. This is first man I heard You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Another thing is... <laughs> if you're dating a bad girl, let her be bad. Don't oh. date a girl that look good. You know what I'm saying? When she could be out single, having a good time, and you complaining and crying all the time about her wearing some booty shorts or a short skirt. Now, it's some stuff now. Like, I'm not saying you go out and show your nipples. <laughs> that's the only thing that's shown on your shirt. Everything else is covered. Okay, I understand that. But you got a pretty girl. I mean, that don't necessarily mean she wearing it for other dudes. Half the time they wear makeup, half the time they wear the shoes, they wear things like that. They're not even doing it for niggas. They're doing it for themselves. Hey, so I am thoroughly surprised at this. Now the yeah. DMs, the DMs and comments. And the comments. The comments and stuff, I mean it's a comment. As long as you know that you ain't did anything wrong and you if you trust your girl, I'm assuming she's your girl because you trust her. Not just because of her looks. So if you trust your girl. It's a comment, you know what I'm saying? Like, let her have that little, you know what I'm saying, little entertainment or whatever, because you never know. It, it might turn into her having 3,000 comments on her page, you know what I'm saying? And now that turned into promotion. Now people got to pay her for her time, and now she can spend that money with you. Can't be mad at But guys, don't think about it like that. Yeah. Now the DMs, I can't really, <laughs> I mean... I like my women to be mean, you know what I'm saying? But don't walk up to my girl. Don't try to ask to pay for her gas at the pump. Don't do none of that. Mind your business. But as far as like DMs and stuff, um, it's just the internet, bro. It's just silly, silly shit, you feel me? And if you don't want your girl responding to dudes, then you gotta do the same thing. Like, you can't be like, oh, who's that on your phone? Who's that on your phone? And then, you know, she kept you on your phone late at night. You covering your phone up because you doing some shit. Mm. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Bring, bring. You, know you gotta. That's just the game. You know what I'm saying? Because the same stuff that you do to your girl, she can learn that just as fast as you learn and do it to you. You know what I'm saying? Be so, a heart attack. Yeah, fast. So that's what that is. I mean, and if you a grown dude and you making money and you got your business and you got plans and you got a future, you shouldn't even care exactly. about no messages. Who cares, bro? You know what you do what you need to do. Is your girl come home to you every night and she's sleeping with you every night? It's nothing to worry about. Stuff like that, that's stuff that you worry about when you in like high school and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like people who ain't got their shit. That's together. really a, that's really <laughs> yeah. that's they really feel like she gonna go out there and find somebody better than you. That's really an insecurity. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So if you not doing nothing and you ain't did nothing to her, I mean you just gonna have to about to do like the 90s. If she get caught, she get caught. Until somebody give you a reason, then 
then that's when you pop off. If they don't give you a reason, then you shouldn't have nothing to worry about. So that's just what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and let them talk. I'm gonna go ahead and let them talk. Okay, okay. I, I have one question because we talked to the guys that was on our last um, video mm -hmm. about this. The DMs. If she was, if somebody gives her a compliment and she responds and says thank you, is that a problem? Yeah, you can Because somebody said that was cheating. No, it's not a fucking problem. That's not the first person that's gonna give her a compliment. That's not the yeah, last person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Cool. I mean, you just know you got a bad chick. You got a bad girl. Well, but you got a whole new. Okay, so <laughs> so let me ask you this: Are you going to get? Is a dude going to get mad every time she get a compliment? Because if she look good, she look good. She gonna get compliments anyway. Right. If you Whether find you know her attractive, what makes you think nobody else gonna find so her attractive? Right. Like, so are you gonna go let so, her that nobody yeah. else don't want? So, just like we don't want no man that nobody else really want. Like to be honest, if we be keeping it a hundred. So you gonna take a step back and look at and see what. You, what you value, what you have is value, and say, dang, I got her. Or you're going to cry like a little girl and worry about other things. every time yeah. somebody DM. I mean, would you get tired if 50 dudes DM'd your girl and gave her compliments and you complain it every single time? Don't nobody want to cry, That's baby. That's a waste of energy. Yeah. Don't nobody want to cry, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like That's a waste of energy. Nah, that's a little kid that's shit. That's facts. We too old to be worrying about mm -hmm. shit like that. We need to worry about... You know what I'm saying? When the lights gonna get cut off. Cause <laughs> shit. I'll be worrying about shit like that. Worrying <laughs> about your car, bills. worrying <laughs> about your bills. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be worried about the wrong stuff. Yeah. Facts. You know That's why y'all can't do do shit. That's why y'all can't do stuff now. That's why y'all y'all mental you messed up now because y'all came on the internet and y'all listen to these rappers and y'all listen to what people are saying and And half these rappers be having whole families yeah, at home. Yeah. Exactly. So nah. That ain't cheating. You know what I'm saying? That's like Every time I step out and I got some nice set of shoes on and a girl give me a compliment and you know what I'm saying, or a girl comment on my post. Or that's like you like you know what I'm saying? You, you just walking into a building and you hold a door open for a woman that's and that's right there. And then she say thank you. Uh -huh. Like, is a female gonna get mad at that? Because I mean like that's just nah. common courtesy. Yeah, for me, like he said, like you shouldn't be with nobody that you don't trust. Yeah. That's the number, number one, one thing. <laughs> and I feel like you shouldn't just get mad at stuff without talking to them about it first. Because that's what y'all be doing. Y'all be seeing a post, a comment. And then the thing is, what y'all don't be understanding is guys will comment on your post like they know you and they talk to you. And they don't and they talk don't to you. They don't even know you. They, they don't, don't know you. They ain't talk to you. You never even had, you never even said nothing to this person. Period. And they acting like they know you. I just feel like you just need to have trust in the person that you're dating and don't let the internet shit ruin what y'all got going on. Because if y'all know what y'all got going on, then fine. Now, I can see if you dating somebody and you feel like they moving funny on the internet, mm -hmm. like they doing too much, like entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like it's, a it's, it's, much. it's a difference. It's a difference if if you being disrespected. Yeah, like, yeah you literally, exactly. You literally go over with your girl. Uh, we gonna fix our credit. We gonna get this house, and then we gonna get these cars, and then we gonna build the money up, and then a year we gonna leave this house, get another house, where this it's okay, and then she gonna say some shit on. Like, ain't nobody never did nothing. <laughs> Niggas ain't never did shit. Yeah. You know, dudes ain't nothing. You. That's why a lot of dudes are single now. Because of shit like that. That's different. But if you got an understanding with your girl and y'all actually communicate every day, you don't just come in the house and pout and be mad. But I, but also, like, I feel like when I be on Twitter, I can talk shit. And sometimes they don't even have nothing to do with me. That's the thing. I just feel like. If y'all know what y'all got going on, like I said, if they if she posts something and you feel some type of way about it, then talk about it. Yeah. Now that don't mean she gonna stop posting what the fuck she wanna post now. Yeah. Like you can't now if it's along the lines where she like saying your name yeah. and saying like oh so and so ain't shit fuck him and y'all literally just got got off the bed together or something and then you now just that's you, just satisfied. Now, that's <laughs> now if she retweeting funny shit and retweeting shit and just tweeting shit. If you have a problem with it, I feel like you should ask her about it. You shouldn't get mad. You shouldn't try to change her. And yeah. I feel like she probably was already acting like that before y'all dated, like he said, with the clothing and shit. So if she was already acting like that and that was something that you don't like, then you shouldn't date her. You shouldn't date her or you should have addressed it before y'all even got into a exactly. relationship. Exactly. Really. That's the thing. Or like a lot of times, this this is the thing with social media when it comes to me. Like a lot of times people, how people are on social media, that's not how they are in real life. 
And the thing is, people feed into that because that's a different persona for them. And like, if other people feed into it or people out here just trying to ch chase clout on social media, like they're gonna feed into it, whether that's them or not, regardless. Like, so it doesn't really matter. You can be a totally different person on social media than you are in real life. And it's like, or like even in general, like if y'all got something going on, but you're not necessarily putting that information out there on the internet or social media, like you just gonna let people think what they wanna think. Mm -hmm. I could be on, I could have a whole relationship I could be on here retweeting stuff or saying stuff about um, like certain situations. People may take it as me being single. I'm not yeah. single. That don't mean I'm single. It could be something that I've experienced before or it could be something that one of my friends is experiencing now and I'm just like, damn, and I'm giving my opinion on it. Like I can give my opinion on stuff that don't mean that's what I'm going through. The mm -hmm. issue is people being taken social media as that's what people's lives yeah. actually are exactly. and that's what people are going through in that moment. And that's not necessarily true. And social media is entertainment. Exactly. Just social media is entertainment. People use it for different avenues. People use it for business. Anything. Like, you can use social media for literally anything. Some people do be on their line trying to lead a different life. Yeah. Whatever. Like, that's, I mean, that's obvious. That's facts. But just because somebody's on there giving their opinion about a certain post or retweeting a per certain post or comment on a certain post or even makes a status about a certain situation, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going through that situation. I can give my opinion on something that I've been through before, or I can give my opinion on something that my friend is going through, and I'm just like, oh, damn, like, this is why I think about the situation. That don't mean that's what's happening in my life. But people try to use social media to try to think they know you, and that's not necessarily the case. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when it comes to relationships, like, y'all have to have a strong, it's sad to say, but y'all have to have, like, a strong foundation so that social media does not play a part or affect y'all's relationship. Because I could go on social media right now and post something simple and it'll be a hundred people under there giving their opinions or think I'm going to or be like oh don't you gotta I could go in there and be like if you're not affectionate you're not the one for me and it'll be people under there oh don't you got a boyfriend don't you what mm -hmm. the fuck did that status have to do with me having a boyfriend exactly. I never said I was single I'm just saying like if you're not an affectionate person we ain't gonna get along like that's just yeah. that but people be under there like that has literally happened to me I'll post something and say something like that and somebody will come on there and be like oh but I thought you had a fiance fiance or whatever oh but never mind that's none of my business you're right it's none of your business mm -hmm. the thing is my fiance or my boyfriend or whatever, they can see exactly what I'm posting on social media like so at the end of the day it's between me and him if he has a problem with what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck what you got to say. Like exactly. that's just that. And that's like I'm like just not. I'm not. Today. I'm not gonna be on there blatantly disrespecting you. Like if we're in a relationship, I'm not about to be hee hee and hi hi and like flirt, like literally flirting with somebody if we're in a relationship. But social media is literally there for you to network and interact with people. So like, if I'm doing that but not dis disrespecting our relationship, then I don't see the problem. Now, if somebody's sliding my DMs and they on that funny shit and I let them know I got a boyfriend or a significant other and they still trying to come at me, blocked. Like, it's just that simple. Yeah, like, like and if you just compliment me, compliment me and I say thank you and they just stay at that, that's that. Mm -hmm. But if you try to pursue it after that and I'm sitting here telling you like, no, like that's dead or whatever and I'm not entertaining it, don't get mad at me because people is commenting on my mm -hmm. stuff like, they can do what they Did want. You know you they got can, a bad they, bitch? They, they, or you, they, 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 you think I'm ugly? Like, you, I'm, you I'm just confused. You can't get mad at stuff. other people's people actions. Like, that's that exactly, person's profile. That's, that's, that's that person's phone. You're not paying that person's phone bill. Yeah. They can post what they want to post. And I feel like if I'm not entertaining it, then shit. it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. Exactly. Like, that's just it. Like, like, if you know you got somebody attractive, you find them attractive, I'm pretty sure you ain't the only person in this world that find them attractive. So... It's going to be people commenting on her picture or his pictures or whatever, blah, 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 like... As long as they don't take it too far or they ain't doing no funny shit, like, and it's not going no further than that, then you should not let social media affect your relationships, like, mm -hmm. point blank, period. Like, you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And if you do, you're insecure. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to say it. You can't, you can't, now, you can't let people think, you can't think what people think of you. Exactly. Exactly. That's the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because last time I checked. And that's the reason check, why a lot of shit be ruined because... You not even thinking people about trying, your people trying to uphold this image on some stuff yeah. that they're not really doing, and I mean, if people got an input, but it's not paying your bills, who cares? That shit don't matter. That shit don't matter. And another thing want. is that I, I still don't think it's social media necessarily ruining relationships. But when you are in a relationship and y'all are going through something, and then your significant other is quick to go to social media 
and basically blast y'all information, mm -hmm. whether they tag you or not. If people know y'all together and some and I and they go in there and be like, oh blah blah blah, and then they like, oh damn, what's going on with you? They think that's, that's they think you know, oh oh y'all broke up, so let me slide. This is my opportunity to slide yeah, in. You made it like worse. no, like just don't don't do that. Like yeah. you can give your opinion about stuff, but don't be quick to go on social media and blast your relationship problems on there because one people are just feeding into it because they know Lucy. They ain't got nothing else to do with their time, and it's just entertainment for them. Exactly. And they just being messy. They don't give a fuck about y'all's relationship. Mm -hmm. That's like you inviting 500 people to your wedding. How many other people really going to be checking on you after you get married? They're yeah, there for the show. Be nosy. Yeah, they're there to be and nosy. how much money y'all spent on the wedding. Exactly. Nobody's there. there to care about, yeah, really face. care about y'all's actual union. Nobody's care to care about, care about y'all's actual marriage. Like, so... Don't bring those people into your relationship. Like, don't go in there blasting your significant other every time y'all get into it. If y'all got a problem, nobody else should know y'all got a fucking problem. That should be between y'all too. I don't give a fuck if y'all been arguing all day. Nobody fucking needs to know that. And I'm not saying, like, it's not okay to vent to your friends and shit. Like, but that's don't immaturity. go, yeah. So you did that don't, when you was in middle school. You did that exactly. when you was in high school. And it, but you know don't go on, in, on the internet yeah. blast putting your own business out you there. you want outside. Like, you only disrespecting yourself. Exactly. You projecting the image. And then the thing is, y'all be going on the internet Posting y'all business, blasting y'all stuff, being mad, doing all this and that. And then and be mad when somebody comment on it. Exactly. <laughs> like if you're going to post, you post some stuff like that, and you're going to Twitter rage or whatever you're but doing, the thing just be done with the person. You be, yeah, because exactly. you're gonna, if you're going to go back to that person, you're gonna real and then real now y'all relationship going to be weak. Do you know why? Because you blasting what they did to you, not the whole world, though. Then you're going to get back with that person, and because y'all got it, big old egos, Y'all gonna be feeling type of way when people think you dumb and stuff. For going and then, back to yeah, the and then, yeah, then you gonna be in that relationship. Yeah, people it's gonna not, talk it's shit. not gonna go back to the being. It, it's, it's not. not it's not gonna go back to the same nothing because the fact that you care about what other people think. When you try to have that relationship back with that person, you are gonna have all these people in your ear. If they if they cheated on you, if they did whatever, these people gonna be in your ear like. Oh, she back with that person. He probably she knew her, but then now y'all not even gonna be trusting each other because now y'all exactly. let other people in y'all shit, and y'all let other people have an opinion on what y'all got going on. That part. So, so I don't think it's social media that ruins relationship. I think it's how people you utilize social media, mm -hmm. how people view social media. Like, yeah, it's really just it's, it's just really just down to it. it's just one's insecurities. Coming to life, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. You're just showing your flaws. Everybody got flaws. Yeah. Everybody hide their flaws. They show their flaws different. You know what I'm saying? And you just happen to be the, the, the person to just. Like, so they don't believe you. You're disrespecting your you know partner. Like, yeah. People don't care. Up. People don't care about what you got going on in your life. People got their own problems. They got to deal with. It's just funny when they happen to see you mm -hmm. being through. a goof. Yeah. And goofy. they could be going through the same yeah. thing but you don't going through but you and don't still know. talking shit no, about man. you. And you don't know. They just kind of their stuff private. That's why, like, I don't understand why people bash celebrities so much because they're normal people. They shit just public. And y'all be trying to talk about people for taking niggas back. They just got an audience. They all be doing the same thing. Exactly. exactly. For the, the person that's working. And the niggas be broke. They should be taking back. And I'm not trying to say she is okay, but y'all be the same ones. Oh, why is she with him? Why is she with them? Oh, she only with him because he brought her this because he got her that. And then you got your cheating nigga laying over here and this nigga probably ain't got a job. <laughs> like, mm -mm -mm. and the thing is, a lot of y'all be trying to bash other people's relationships, like, especially like celebrity relationships. And I'm sorry, but half of y'all, majority of y'all would still be with that same person if y'all had the chance. <laughs> That's exactly. why I be so confused. First of all, half the people that talk about celebrities, you're fans anyway. The only difference is you're not getting paid for the shit. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wasn't a fan, you wouldn't have no idea what they got going on. You wouldn't know nothing. You wouldn't yeah, know that's going facts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, it's, it's not a perfect world. So for you to critique somebody else. Exactly. Okay, well, so what, so what have you done? And I feel like people, you know what I'm people who critique other people, that's their own insecurities jumping out. But yeah, Because the now they're, they think that they got somebody else on the same side of the fence with them. So now it's funny because misery loves company. So now yeah, they're thinking exactly. like, oh, ha ha, this happened to you too. And all of this and that. Like people love to see negative shit rather than to see positive shit. Like that's why I had to unfollow Shade, bro. Because it it'd be too crazy. much negative shit on there. Like you look through the comments and people just be talking shit, talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. That's why like if you want to be in the entertainment industry, you need to have tough skin. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is, is that the people who comment on all this stuff, like, the stuff y'all seeing in the media, hell, even on the news, people are letting y'all see what 
they want you to fucking mm-hmm. see. Like, you're not even getting the whole story. That's why some shit happened between somebody and their baby mama. You see her post her side of the story, everybody on her side. But then he come with receipts, now you on his side. Mm-hmm. But then something else come out, and now y'all like, oh, well, shit, I don't know who to believe. Like, exactly. y'all, we don't be getting the whole story. The like, story we don't is. know. We're not there. So we, we weren't in the situation. You're not getting the whole story. That's with anything in the media. Like, you're seeing what people want you to see. Just like on social media, you're seeing what these people want you to see. If they want you to know, they ain't got to post it on social media. Exactly. Like, that's just and y'all think like, that y'all can take two seconds of a video or this and that and come up with a whole story the front part of the video could be chopped off and then y'all just see this part of it and then y'all be like dang that's messed up then as soon as the real video come out or something else happened then y'all be like oh now y'all don't know what to think exactly that's why the more the story is man you must look at (laughs) this and that's just the bottom line like seriously so if y'all think social media ruins relationships or if y'all don't think it ruins relationships Put y'all answer in the comments, and then you can also explain if yeah. you think it does or if you think it doesn't. Now, I feel like it doesn't, but that doesn't mean that if somebody else tells me like that they feel like it does, that I won't try to understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Because like like we said, we are just here to give our opinions on how we feel about certain situations, but we're not gonna bash other people For about how. Yeah. Way. So you can think the way you want to think because that's what makes us all unique. We don't think the same. We don't think different. Yeah. And that's why. Y'all gotta find somebody that think like y'all. Yep. Because there's a lot of immature people and there's a lot of mature people, and unfortunately that don't mix. Mm -mm. You gotta be on the same page. Mm -mm. And if you let stuff that's fiction determine your life, then you got some issues. You need some counseling. You need some help. And if you don't think that it determines your relationship or your life, your relationship with your significant other, then good for you. But no answer is a wrong answer. So just put what y'all think is in the comments. And we're going to see what y'all talking about. And I got one more comment to make. Just because people are saying they don't allow social media to affect their relationships does not mean that they just out here being dumb and stupid and falling for anything. That's not what that means. It just means the fact that if you're not giving me a reason to not trust you, then I'm not just going to be out here projecting stuff onto you just because so-and-so going through this in their, their relationship or I went through this in the past. Like, I'm not putting that on you because that's my past. I, I mean, I'm not being stupid. Like, I'm going to be paying attention. Like, I ain't just going to be out here to let you leave me blind. But I'm just not going to push my past experiences or experiences that other people went through or shoot if you did some fucked up shit in your past and now you can't trust the person you with because you worried that they don't this that's your karma coming back to bite you in the ass like that's just not what it is we ain't out here being stupid it's just the fact that if i'm gonna be in a relationship with you i trust you if i don't trust you we just ain't yeah. gonna be in a relationship yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's just the bottom line that's another so thing. i'm not out here being stupid it's just the fact that i don't have if you're not giving me a reason to not trust you at this point then I, i'm not just gonna be out here just monitoring you and being like oh you can't do this you can't do this or i feel like every little thing you're doing is you moving funny mm-hmm. because if you're gonna do some shit you're gonna find a way to do it regardless exactly. like no matter what i do or how much attention i show you or how much i pick your favorite things or do whatever you like to do if you're gonna cheat you just gonna cheat exactly. and yeah. eventually yeah. it's gonna come to the light that don't necessarily mean i gotta go looking for shit but eventually it's gonna get presented to me and at that point it's just a dub like so we ain't out here being stupid, but we just ain't out here just blatantly just being like, oh, I don't trust you because I went through this in my past and that, but I ain't out here being stupid at the same time. Exactly. And little do y'all know, y'all can be with somebody that ain't cheating, ain't doing nothing, and y'all bring that negativity into y'all relationship. That makes you not be the person that you need to be for that person. And you start doing shit and acting different and stuff like that. Because you think they're doing something. Exactly. They're really not doing and stuff. then fucking just doing too much. And they could not even have that thought in their mind to cheat on you. But yeah, you're pushing them away from you. You're pushing them away from you. I'm not saying cheating is okay. But you're pushing them away from you. Even if they don't cheat, they could fucking be emotionally detached from your motherfucking relationship because everything that you got going on. And eventually, they could just leave your ass. Exactly. They could just up the one day, just like, like you know what, I'm not saying like, no more. I'm doing everything I can to prove to this girl or guy that. I'm not doing none of this stuff and they still don't trust me. Like, you exactly. just further pushing them away. Like, sometimes it might drive them to actually go do the stuff that you 
blaming them mm -hmm. or accusing them of doing it. Sometimes it may make them do that. Or sometimes it just might make them just get up and leave you. Like, exactly. that just, Cause you can't bring bringing all that. What people don't understand it is thoughts are powerful as hell. Like, you be thinking something, you keep thinking something, keep thinking something, and then you keep on telling this person that shit isn't their motherfucking subconscious mind. They might not even be trying to do shit. And then here they go. Or they might just up and leave you. Like, that's why y'all need to just be positive, have a positive relationship. If there's nothing that's not weird, like even even if they do act weird or they act different, they don't mean they cheating. Instead of you assuming, you need to talk to them. Yeah, that's how you have communication. Have a like, conversation. Oh, they could have had a bad day at work, and then they texting you, and they usually be all, "Hey, baby," and they text you, they be like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah. And then here you go. Instead of you asking what's wrong, now you being dry, and yeah. now. They don't even know that they being dry. So now when you being dry, they noticing that you're acting different because their mind is just like all over the place. So they don't even know like that they even texted you that way. And here you go being mad. Then now they about to be mad because they like, why are you acting funny? Yeah. Especially if y'all don't have the, the communication because it could be prevented with you seeing they acting funny first. And then it could be prevented the second time with them seeing you acting funny and then they could be trying to talk to you. Yeah, but if y'all both on the same motherfucking page, then y'all ain't getting nowhere. Yeah. Y'all just gonna be mad. Ain't gonna work. And that's yeah. that's just immature shit. Like yeah. just because you went through some shit in the past, and that's the thing that I think that people struggle with the most. I think people think that just because you thought that you might have been such a good person in the past and you and you got effed over that you just feel like you deserve everything. You just feel like you're worth so much. You know what I'm saying? But the you're, thing you're, is, people don't be looking back and reflecting yeah. on what they could, what they like, possibly yeah. did in that situation. You can't, too. you can't do that to somebody. Mm -hmm. You can't make somebody feel like well, they worth less than what they are just because you went through some stuff in the past. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not your fault that that person gave that person money when they knew they wasn't working. It's not your fault they let them use the car when they didn't have a car. And they got fucked over, and they got tricked, and they got manipulated. Yeah, you can't carry it over to the next person. And if you do, you need some counseling, and you need some help because obviously, <laughs> any of this ever did anything to me. I don't wish jail or death or anything on the worst enemy. But if you cross me, then you better stay on the other side of the street because you're not coming over here. And that's that. I'm gonna leave that at that. And that's just that's just the reality of what it is. It's just that. You gotta be grown. <laughs> you gotta be an adult. You gotta be grown. You gotta say yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, how would I look? I how would I look? Every person I meet, one person is something did to me. I'm carrying that over to the next, the next person. Yeah. I would never have a relationship. I would never be with anybody. If you were a person that do that, that means you got like five motherfucking relationships that you didn't carry all the way over. Because I'm sorry, if you're yeah. doing that for one relationship, you gotta be doing it for all of them. Like, yeah. you taking bits and pieces of every relationship. And the thing is, you, like you said, nobody's reflecting on what they could have done. Because obviously, mm -hmm. both things didn't work out for both of y'all for a reason. Like, nobody's perfect. It could have been some things that you did that they didn't tell you, but yeah. you need to think about that. Like, damn, like, I could have did some shit to right. fuck this up, too. But the fact that y'all didn't talk about it, probably, you don't know. But that's not to say that you shouldn't, that you shouldn't, like, actually take the time to self-reflect and be like, damn, like, maybe I did fuck up. And like you said, y'all, you going into the next relationship thinking that you could just all high and mighty and yeah. do nothing. Mm -hmm. And just thinking that you all yeah. the toxic traits over to that relationship, and you don't even realize it a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people yeah. don't even need to be getting into a next relationship. Yeah. Until you get your life together, get your stuff together. You need to be single. Do what you can do. Figure out what you need to do better in your life. Because a lot of things, a lot of y'all don't understand is you attract what you are. Mm -hmm. Like you really do. Like if you like up here and you like positive, I'm not trying to say you just. 100% positive, like you're not negative, none of that. But if you working on yourself, you're going to attract what you are. Like, that's just what it is. Like, if you attract the toxic people, they, even if you're not even toxic with, like, intimate relationships, it could be, like, with your family yeah. or something like yeah. that. Like, if you're not fucking healing mm -hmm. yourself, you're going to just uh, be attracting the wrong one thing people. To one thing, to one thing, exactly. carrying everything over. Instead of just working on yourself. And that's not to say that if you work on yourself that you won't get into a relationship with nobody that's toxic. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I feel like you'll go into that relationship feeling a little bit better if you, you know, I feel like if that person is doing you wrong or whatever and mm -hmm. they're not showing you no signs, I don't feel like that you're going to be in that relationship just assuming shit. I feel like you're just going to take the relationship, like if it's going good, you're going to take it as it's going good. 
And then if something fishy happens or whatever, then you'll probably be able to see it faster than what you would have in your old relationship. Yeah. And then you see stuff when you work on yourself, you're not gonna be dealing with every fucking thing. If you get into that new relationship That's another thing. and you worked on yourself, your eyes gonna be open. You're not gonna tolerate nothing in your past relationship. That's why you said like it's good to date. Because when you date and, and for it to not work, because then you see what you're not gonna fucking deal with. Okay, so when you yeah. get into your next relationship, not trying to say like they didn't do the fucking dishes. The last <laughs> niggas so ever did the fucking done. dishes. So <laughs> now you're like, all right, we breaking up because you ain't do the dishes this night. Like not like stuff like that. Just like other stuff that's like red flags that will let you know like oh yeah this ain't gonna work and then you can talk to them about it and if it still don't work then you yeah, can leave that's it they move on exactly. and that's another thing and that's the thing i think that people get mixed up with dating when you date somebody you find out what their interests are what they like what they dislike what they comfortable with you know what they like to do um how spiritual are they? How religious are they? Um, do y'all have the same interests? And when you got a lot of information, that's when you spend time with somebody. You know, going on dates, going to the movies, going to the, you know, shopping, stuff like that. Anything, whatever it is. And I think that y'all just be rushing to get in yeah, relationships just because just, yeah. you want what everybody else have. Like what I'm saying. It's like any time I have a conversation with somebody, they have. Yeah. Exactly. just showing you just what like, they want anytime, you to see. Anytime I have a conversation with somebody. This is how my logic is. Okay, you see a relationship, you see it holding hands, you know, restaurant. It looked good on paper. <laughs> it looks good on paper. But in reality, how much in comparison are you to what you shooting for? Exactly. And nothing, 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 nothing worth it is ever easy anyway. So you might have to learn a whole new person just to see if you're going to even be with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's why you get everything off your chest and you let people know as soon as you meet them because it's better to not waste each other time mm -hmm. instead of just wasting time because we all know you can't get time back. Period. I ain't wasting my time. That's and what the it main is. thing is, everybody between relationships need to take the time because through each relationship you grow, you change, hopefully regardless like you change in some kind of way mm -hmm. and the thing is people need to take the time to learn their own love languages so they know sometimes you have to teach people how to how to love you correctly don't just go in there thinking like oh they should know this this is obvious like this is just now the obvious thing is don't cheat mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's one obvious thing but a lot of stuff is not obvious people go people live different lives people grow up differently like what's common sense to you ain't necessarily common sense to the next person so sometimes you do have to teach somebody how to love you correctly and it's not saying that you like they don't know anything or whatever but if they're at least willing to learn and learn your love languages and learn your triggers and learn this stuff like then that's somebody you should take the time to teach those things to don't just be like oh they should know this like you knew yeah. you shouldn't have done that. You knew blah blah. Now the there's time, certain stuff that yeah, you know dang well you ain't got no business doing that. If you in a relationship and y'all are both in agreement that y'all just in a relationship together, y'all ain't messing with nobody else. But there's other things that you do have to teach people because everybody loves differently. Like everybody yeah. shows love differently, and there's certain things that you gotta learn. Like I'm not a verbal person. I'm not a talkative person. But there's people out there that do need verbal verbal affirmations, and I had to learn that the hard way. I never required that from somebody I was in a relationship with, so it was never important to me. But then, as I started dating other people, I'm like, dang, they really do need to know. I was doing, st I was taking people on trips. I was doing candlelit dinners, rose petals, everything. That didn't matter to them. They want to hear the words come out of your mouth, no matter what gestures you're showing them. Everybody's love language is different. And to me, my actions was like, oh, dang, I thought actions spoke loud in words. I'm sitting here showing you. I'm not a talkative person, but I'm showing you that I love you. I'm showing that I care for you. That's not their love language. Some people actually need to hear it, and that's stuff that I had to learn. And you learn that in each relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta yeah. know. You gotta know what you get into before you get into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, take the time to date and actually get to know each other. Like, yeah, it's hard. It's like, hard. Oh. relationship. Y'all be getting mad. Half the stuff y'all get mad about. You have to. You have to. When you live in life and you get older and you need to add to your vocabulary, you need to add to your everyday life. You just need to be a more responsible person, if that makes sense. 
you gotta remember, people do actions because they thought that was the right thing. They might do some shit that you might think is completely stupid, <laughs> but that's how they, they probably thought that was the right way. The right they probably thought that was normal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So talk about it. Don't be that aggressor yeah. in a relationship and just, uh, because you beating people down, putting people down. They don't, that's sometimes not, they don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Like, who want to deal with that? Who want to put up with that? You know what I'm saying? And the main thing about dating and relationship stuff is, here's the thing, here's the problem. People feel like they owe everything. Let me tell you something. You came in this world, and you're going to leave this world alone That's... by yourself. You got to put forth an effort. Mm -hmm. You got to do 50 50. If you like a dude or you like a girl and y'all see each other and one of them don't got a car, one of them do, don't get mad. And, I don't want to pick them up. Don't... If they don't put gas in your car, don't pick them up. Yeah, we can meet up. Let's meet up. You better find How a way to get, get there. there. <laughs> That's not your business. Figure exactly. it out. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is, People just feel like they're entitled to things. Like, for example, people hate double standards. And I'm about to speak on the behalf of double standards <laughs> that is something that's been annoying me for years. A woman is not supposed to cook all the time. A woman is not supposed to clean all the time. A woman is not supposed to stay in the house with the kids all the time. Just because she's a woman, just because that was something they that, did that they did in the, the past that was expected of them. And then the same thing for a man. Just because he's a man, that don't mean he want to take you out to eat in his car all the time. That don't mean he always want to pay. He shouldn't have to pay all the time. Now, if he a man, and he really like you, and you for him, and he about his business, yeah, like me. Okay, <laughs> I'll pay for seven meals, and she can pay for two. Something. Yeah, you basically ain't keep counting. Yeah. I'm gonna do it because this is what I want to do. But I'm not I, gonna I, be paying and buying meals for somebody they wouldn't do it for me. Yeah. You know what See, I'm saying? See, that's different. That's, like, you know, that's what that's, it is. Yeah, that's you know different. what I'm saying? And you just have to, you gotta do thoughtful stuff. Like a lot of y'all dudes, a lot of y'all dudes mess your own relationship up. If your girl says she wants some Subway cookies, can you go get her some? Go get her the cookies. You really want her to go be mad at you, go get some cookies? And end up talking to somebody Pikachu else, or end up, house, end up taking her time, and then there's another thing. You want her to do some shit for you. You know, at the same time, if you was at work and some shoes was releasing, and you want her to go stand in line for funky ass shoes. Not funky ass wouldn't shoes. Wouldn't you want her to go get the stuff for you? How about now? She say no. She a she a bitch. She this. She that. <laughs> she she ghetto. She got attitude. She ratchet. She stupid. Why she gotta be all that? She got a name. Call her a name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta do stuff for people that they would do for you. You gotta be willing to stop being lazy. Energy just gotta you know be reciprocated. Yeah. That's the energy you gotta be matched. You know what I'm saying? That like, and that's, and that's what it is. And you don't gotta wait until holidays and <laughs> Valentine's Day. Now we on to something. <laughs> you fucking do shit. Listen. You, know what I'm you could be at work and you could be having a great week. Stop and get her some flowers. Get her this. She might pop up and get you something. It might be something that you want. And be vocal. And, and talk to people and actually figure out what their interest is and what they like. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because half y'all don't even know what your girlfriend's birthday is. You know what I'm saying? You, oh, 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 I forgot. You got Facebook telling you it's their birthday today. Oh and it's really, it's really next week because she made the account when she was 17 and she lied about her age. So you really fucked up. So you really fucked up. So, you know what I'm saying? That's funny. Just keep but tabs. No, keep tabs. <laughs> And get knowledge and stuff, and stop, stop trying to make stuff one sided. Yeah, you know and the saying? thing is, you sometimes you have to be patient in relationships because what was tolerated in a last relationship by somebody don't mean it's gonna be tolerated in this one. Mm -hmm. But you can't blame that person mm -hmm. for thinking it's okay because that's what all their last relationships like. She ain't had no problem with me doing this. She ain't had no problem with me doing that. Mm -hmm. But now you do. You can't just assume mm -hmm. that they know that. Like. You don't know what was tolerated in their last relationship. So if something comes up and it bothers you, at least speak on it. Like, mm -hmm. y'all have a conversation about mm -hmm. it once, maybe twice, but that third time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -uh. Like, like if that means you know, it Yeah, matter. exactly. What the you, thing is, you, you, you just have to be able to communicate those things because you can't just assume. You don't know what was tolerated mm -hmm. in their last mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. That girl probably didn't care about a lot of stuff because mm -hmm. ain't no telling. She could have had her other stuff going on. Certain, going people, on certain people are not used to certain things. Exactly. Like, like so me. they're not. I'll yeah. pay for. Girls who I'll put gas in her car, I'll pay her phone bill, I'll pay her bill, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because 
cares? That's little stuff. That's money. You claim about stuff like that, you broke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but the main thing is, dudes, what you put into a relationship, that's what you put in a relationship, that's what the woman has to go off of. So if you sneaky, you walk around and you pick up the phone and you talk to the girl and you, it's two in the morning. Oh, 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 that was my mom. <laughs> that's your fucking mom. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning, you talking about that's your mom, that's your sister, that's your auntie. Well, why you get off the phone like that? And your mom don't sound like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, uh, it's like, it's happened to me. <laughs> it's happened to me. But we ain't gonna talk about that right now. Okay. If, like, for example, when I meet women, they don't know what type of car, what type of job, what type of ethnic background, what type of collegiate history, none of that. Because you let people pull that information from you. If you yeah, go to you dinner, all that information if you, out there. like for example, if you pull up being flashy and pulling out money and all that stuff, the girl gonna think that that's what you made of. She gonna think that's what you're exactly. So you can't get mad. You can't get mad at her. Yeah, you can't get mad at her. You, you know what I'm saying? She said she said she wants Chanel first. She pulled out five thousand dollars at the dinner last night. Period, baby. I mean, that's what you doing. Yeah. Also, now she a hoe. Now she a gold digger. Now she doing all this stuff because you got money. But you're pulling bands out in front of her like you got it. Exactly. If you got it, you got it. You, you got to say you got it. But then it's you know also the opposite because yeah. it'd be people that's out here flashing that kind of stuff. And then it'd be females that don't give a fuck about that kind of stuff. That but shit. that's the yeah. kind of stuff that you're trying to impress me with. But then I'm stuck up because I'm not going for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't care. Like, I got my own money. I got yeah. my own stuff. I got my own this. I got my own that. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for certain stuff. If you can't bring that to the table. You flashing your money ain't gonna do nothing for me, baby. I got my own money. What else can you bring? I'm confused. Cause the thing is, a lot of, uh, especially nowadays, a lot of women is not necessarily looking for men to take care of them. They got their own shit together. Mm-hmm. They looking for somebody who can be that equal and somebody who can compliment them in their life. And you sitting here yeah, flashing money doing do. all this. What else can you bring to the table? Cause I'm confused. Cause money not everything, but it's something that you need to survive. Money. And if that, money if you can... looking for a woman that's that you want relying on you and somebody you can take care of, go find one. But some of us ain't like that. So mm-hmm. don't try to lump us all into the thing and then when we not moved by you flashing your money or we not moved by you mm-hmm. asking to fly me out and do all this mm-hmm. stuff, like, and we're not moved by that. And that's, if you don't got nothing else to bring to the table, then I'm not the one for mm-hmm. you. Go find somebody who falls for that kind of stuff. Who Go find somebody who's looking for that kind of stuff or find mm-hmm. somebody who's looking not to work mm-hmm. and just rely on you to be the, be the breadwinner and pay all the bills. Like, if that's what you want and you want your woman to rely on you like that, then that's cool. Nobody needs Stay to in your lane. Do no, that. <laughs> nobody needs to know your business. Exactly. People don't have to know that you live in a fucking $500,000 house. People don't have to know that you drive a Range Rover truck. Period. They don't, yeah, don't got to know nothing. A lot of these people you know what I'm saying? rich and you don't even know. Like, of you course you know. know because, like, you they know. get, like, mm-hmm. you know, you could sit, tell by their channel, but, like, they keep their private life private, yeah. and they just show y'all they keep like they stuff did. private. If they want to show y'all, see, plus we weren't all that. Show y'all what they want to show y'all. We weren't all that designer and stuff. First of all, you look goofy anyway. <laughs> if you're not going on a trip or something, if you're not going to Egypt or fucking Vegas or something like that, you a trip or something, lives, and you wearing all this designer, that that don't just mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just to stay, in, just to stay where you grew up at, <laughs> because. I can, tell, I can tell, I can tell you something right now. I can tell you something right now, and I'm not gonna say any names. I'm not saying no names. But the real dudes that got the money, Sometimes they be wearing a white t-shirt, no, like me. They be white t-shirt, nice jeans, nice shoes. And they be the club owner in the club standing back laughing at the dudes spending all their money. Exactly. Because you got people that want to flex on social media Preach. for shit that don't even really make sense. But you want to spend 600 on a bottle, 600 on a section in the club. Lots of people they don't even give a fuck about you. It's people in your section you don't and even know they ain't you gonna spend <laughs> drinking your you gonna spend two, drinks for free. Three hundred dollars on a fucking bottle when you know you get paid for two weeks. So whose dumbass fault is it that you finna go back home looking broke? You're not taking none of the women home with you. You can't take the liquor home with you. No, seriously. And you can't get no refunds. So you just you asked out. You just spent eight hundred. And y'all doing all you this. You wait 13 days to get paid again. Y'all not there. Exactly. And then it's like, exactly. if you're going to have fucking, you're going to be walking around popping bottles and own the bitch. Walk around like this, your shit. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all be putting on this image. And we're trying to impress you know people saying? that don't. You got motherfuckers that walk around with Balenciaga's on, can't even fill out a money order. Damn, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a tough one right there. What you that's... doing, bro? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? Because. That's the same dudes that's that's in the club flashing money and ah uh, doing it's the same dudes that's putting it in for a section. 
Like I used to tell niggas. It'd be a million people in club. y'all section you know and y'all all putting in five, ten, twenty dollars. All putting money to get a section, you don't need to be there. One. And, and then two, she all get a little swiggle, a little yeah. smidgen of alcohol. Y'all just a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes be mad. Maybe. And one of them is champagne. Yeah. Because I won't be friends with them. I don't want to be friends with you. That's fast. You are her buying shit that you can't even buy twice. Bring your random females exactly. in there. What the fuck you doing? That don't really you know care. Because as soon as your phone runs they out, they, they go to the next section. section. <laughs> they go to the next section, bro. You a lame. They know how the game go. Dudes yeah. be sending mad money on bottle girls. Meanwhile, she probably got a dude at home that take care of her, that treat her right. She don't even care. Exactly. She making three, four hundred dollars a night. You can't do nothing for her. You can't do yeah. nothing for her. You think she want to deal with you? She make more money than what you throwing. You just like the rest of the dudes. You just like the rest of the dudes. So... You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. That's Dudes it. always say, oh, women don't want real men. No. This the, that's the problem. The okay, problem is, wrap this up. The problem is, <laughs> we about to wrap this up. This video <laughs> we don't care about money. We don't care about all that shit. That's just stupid. We care about that street shit. Y'all gotta have that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna be broke. And this motherfucker gonna be rocking the Get your motherfucking heads on, right? The thing so, is, we, some people can tolerate a lot of stuff as long as you working towards something or got your head on your shoulders correctly like there's things that people will tolerate that you don't even know that they're willing to tolerate now i understand especially with guys like they would rather have their stuff together before they go pursue a relationship some people don't give a fuck some they out here pursue a relationship regardless because they might be looking for Shit. people to take care of them but i'm just saying like you never know what somebody's willing to grow through with you until you get to know that person, get to know them. Like they're not necessarily looking for you to have your shit together, but as long as you working in the right direction and you show show some kind of initiative and you're out here putting in the work, like they may be willing to go through a lot of shit with you that you don't realize that they're willing to go through. Like you never know, but at least be moving in the right direction. Some of y'all just just be fucking out here. Look up, motherfucker! Be forty years old, ain't got nothing to show for it. Yeah. Chilling 30, 30. It'd be crazy, it'd be mind blowing. I'd be looking at people, I'd be like, this dude got all the damn brand clothes. I'm just like, y'all out here trying to impress people that don't give a fuck about y'all. Like, y'all out here buying fake designer and all this stuff for what? Like, yeah, you gotta invest in yourself. Live within your means. That doesn't matter. Do what you need to do. Make some sacrifices. You're buying Gucci belts, you're buying Gucci bows, Gucci slides. That's that shit. Don't matter. That shit's stupid. Trying to impress people that don't give a fuck about you. Doing the most. That don't matter. Social media. Social media, man. That's what it is. Y'all be trying to feed into that stuff. Worry about the wrong shit. Period. Period. Who? Yeah. That's all I gotta say. We got to wrap this up. Thanks for having me on here. You know. Again, to our special guest, Retro. And don't forget. To like and, and subscribe, period. And comment, comment too. And hit that post notification. Let them know. Bell, let us know baby. your favorite part of the video. Favorite part. Let us know. Opinions. If y'all got different types of views, let us know. Because we might make a part two so we can talk about the stuff that y'all thought. Period. And that's it there on that. So until the next video, peace. peace.